With two patents now granted for hyperstealth light bending material and two more approved, Guy Kramer, the inventor and president, CEO of Hyperstealth, demonstrates this astonishing breakthrough in optics. Double sided lenticular lenses that are offset from each other create invisibility if the target is far enough behind the lens. It does this by creating two negative refractive indexes on each side of the whole lens, and where they cross over in the middle, they compress the area behind beyond what was thought possible, allowing for a region where the target disappears. This configuration has never been done before. Double-sided lenticular lenses running in parallel does not create invisibility. It simply creates a negative refractive index if the background is far enough behind it and acts like a magnifying glass to the person or object behind it as they move further behind. This is a similar effect to a clear glass filled with water to items behind the glass. A standard single-sided lenticular lens can also allow for invisibility, but it does this by stretching and blurring the background sideways. This creates an anomaly to an observer if the background has any details. The target must also be further away from the lens to avoid being viewed versus Kramer's invention. Professor Sir John Pendry, the leading theoretical physicist in optical materials in the world today, was knighted by the Queen in 2012 for his invisibility cloak, which was made of a copper cylinder that could bend microwaves around a target. Visual invisibility was not achieved, but this experiment demonstrated that bending light, which is just a different frequency from microwaves, was a probability and not an impossibility. Professor Pendry called Kramer's discovery an ingenious application of classical optics. Guy Kramer now has 11 patents granted in the field of optics with over 400 claims approved and has assigned these patents to hyperstealth.